Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I'll be talking Sam Darnold, and is it time for the New York Jets to move on from Sam Darnold? But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Um, to answer this question, um, nah, I don't think they should move on from Sam Darnold because Sam Darnold is not the problem. Sam Darnold is not the problem. If you watch the last night game, he the only one that balled out. He put he put everything on the line for the team to win. You know, he didn't throw a passing touchdown, but he did run one in. He did run one in. And um, I'm seeing a lot of Jets fans. Obviously, I'm not a Jets fan at all. Jets suck. Um, they need to get it together. Um, that always been a Giants town, but I believe it's up for grabs because New York sports just suck right now besides my Yankees. Let's keep it real. Knicks suck. Nets disappointed. Um, Giants, you know, they suck. And Jets suck. Who set my Yankees. Um, but anyway, let's get into the Jets. I like Sam Darnold. I like him a lot. He just in a losing situ situation. You give him a coach at Adam Gaze. Adam Gaze sucks. Adam Gaze sucks. They have to get like another Rex Ryan or something. You seen what? I'm not saying get Rex Ryan again, but get a better coach. Rex Ryan had the Jets defense style. He made Mark Sanchez, Mark Sanchez look like something. And I'm hearing this tank for Lawrence, tank for Lawrence. No, do not do that. Sam Darnold is in his fourth year. He improved his second year. Actually, you know what? Let's go over his stats. Let's go over Sam Darnold's stats. And actually, I'm sorry. Sam Darnold is in his third year. And we're talking about Tank for Lawrence. Sam Darnold is only in his third year. And we're talking about Tank for Lawrence. That's ridiculous. But just to go over his stats, 2018. He threw for 2,865 yards, 17 touchdowns, 15 picks. Know me, if you watch my content, I never judge a quarterback off their first year. I judge him from second year on. Second year, he improved. He threw for 3,024 yards, 19 touchdowns, 13 picks. So obviously, he's approving. Then y'all give away Roby, Roby Anderson. Y'all just gave him away to the um, Panthers. So y'all give away one of his best offensive pieces. Jameson Crowder, he's he's doing his thing. Crowder is doing his thing. You know, week one, he caught seven passes, 115 yards, one touchdown. Then last night, he caught seven passes for 104 yards. So he can ball. He got a weapon, but imagine having those two. Denzel Ms. I don't think he even played the game yet. Um, to me, he's not that good. Um, so we'll see once he come back, he should be coming back. And the beat up line. Let, let's keep it real, man. That line is terrible. That line is terrible. But this guy, Sam Darnold, ran over 80 yards, man. And also another problem, speaking of running, look who y'all got in the backfield. Le'Veon Bell can't stay, stay healthy. You got an agent, Frank Gore. Like, come on. He has no running game, has no offensive line, has one capable wide receiver. Coaching staffs, coaching staff sucks. Adam Gay suck. And y'all talk about Sam Darnold and Tank for Lawrence. You know what happens when Trevor Lawrence go there? He's gonna do the same thing. You know what happens if Sam Darnold go to a coach or any like established team? Say if Sam Darnold go to the Vikings and they're ready to cut bait with um, Kirk Cousins. Sam Darnold will turn that franchise around. Sam Darnold will turn the Colts around. Like, Jets, it's only his third year. Only his third year. And, and Sam Darnold is the last one for, last one to blame. Y'all saying he suck? Come on. Sam Darnold can play. Sam Darnold can play. I hate when 
It's the organization. And you obviously see the kid can play, but you give him a beat up line. Get a running back out the draft. These running backs coming out the draft look really good. Get a running back out the draft. You don't have to sign these old running backs. Le'Veon Bell been a complete disappointment since he's been there. All career lows. He got a hamstring injury, so he can't even get in the game. Yeah, I paid them all that money. Come on. Come on, but y'all blame that on Sam Darnold. Let's cut it out. Let's cut it out. Come on, man. That defense looked terrible, too, by the way. That defense looked horrible. Go ahead. I, I want to see Jets get Trevor Lawrence, do the same thing, and Sam Darnold go somewhere in the seed. I, I want to see that happen. I definitely want to see that happen. That's going to make Jets fans literally throw up, sit to their stomach. They got to get rid of Adam Gaze. He sucks. Adam Gaze sucks. Got to get rid of him, man. They have to get rid of him. But anyway, um, what do you think, man? Who do you think is the problem? Is it Sam Darnold? Obviously, I don't think it is. I go coaching, no running game, no line, no defense. But y'all blame Sam Darnold for that. Come on, we got to stop. Clearly, Jets in rebuild mode. They do not need another quarterback. Or is it is it Sam Darnold to you? It, it, is it Sam Darnold to you? Let me know and let me know why. Well, this is Al Kabir, the analyst. I'm a ghost.